Chemical Management Inventory System, CMIS. Chemical Management Inventory System or CMIS is one of the online training that give us information how to manage chemical inventory in institution. This video is to share an overview of chemical management inventory system including the purpose, goals, and limitations of the inventory software. Introduction to CMIS Software Chemical Management Inventory System CMIS, is a system or program that is used to track chemicals at a facility or institution. An effective CMIS begins tracking these chemicals at the point of procurement and continues through use and disposal. Principle of CMIS. CMIS provide a living database of chemical inventory, which means, this software only provided for a single chemical receiving area with a single inventory administrator. Therefore, the database must be always updated by only one person so that we can easily trace or track any chemical by using this software. Purpose and benefit of CMIS. The main purpose of this software is to promote a fundamental approach to managing chemicals usage in the laboratory. Focus of this software are safety and security of the chemical in the organization. But other than that, we can use this software to manage chemical in the laboratory. Such as to locate the chemical location or to find the chemical that we need to dispose. There are many benefits to implementing a CMIS including cost saving, increased efficiency, and increased security and safety. Role and responsibilities in CMIS software. Proper implementation will involve many key personnel that have specific roles and responsibilities for implementing and ultimately maintaining a CMIS software. This software has four predefined user access roles. The first one is administrator, second is manager, next is auditor and last one is viewer. Each user has different role and responsibilities. Administrator. Administrator is the default first user login and has full access privileges to all settings and icons. This role should only be assigned to a few qualified and trusted persons within institution. Administrator privileges include the ability to modify existing inventory items for example add or remove inventory items. Report inventory which is report chemical quantities to department, institution or government. Audit inventory is to check inventory for accuracy. Control inventory access. Print inventory lists for laboratory, room, shelf or cabinet. Add new users and create new logins for them and the last one is to import inventory from a previously created Excel file. Manager. Manager is the person responsible for managing daily inventory usage. The manager has similar access privileges and responsibilities as the administrator, except that the manager is not capable of adding new users in the Manage Users icon. However, account for the manager must be created by the administrator. Manager are able, modify existing inventory items, add or remove inventory items. Report inventory, report chemical quantities to department, institution or government. Audit inventory, check inventory for accuracy. Control inventory access and print inventory lists for laboratory, room, shelf or cabinet. Auditor, auditor is designed to audit or check inventory. Auditor is responsible for laboratory inventory audits and checks printed inventory for accuracy. Auditor privileges include report inventory, audit inventory and print inventory list. However, auditor is not capable of viewing all the information in the settings, which prevents the auditor from adding SDS folder locations, chemical storage locations, chemical storage groups and owners. Viewer. Viewer is a general user who has access to view and search the inventory. Viewer also has access to the search, inventory, and reports icons. Responsible to notify administrator of any inventory changes and also able to print inventory list. This is the only user or role in the CMIS system that can be generically assigned for access by multiple people. Next, we proceed to the CMIS system. I will explain briefly about this system and how we can manage chemical inventory easily.
This is Chemical Master Inventory. Before we start with the CMIS software, we need to prepare the master inventory by using Microsoft Excel. The master inventory can also be a backup for our chemical inventory. The completed master inventory will be uploaded into the CMIS software. Information that we need to fill up are barcode, location, owner, date in, expiration date, chemical name, CAS number, storage group, bottle or container size, remaining quantity, unit, state. There are three group in alerts group which is security group includes CWC, theft and others, next is health hazard group which is carcinogen, health hazard, irritant and acute toxicity, and last for physical hazard group which is corrosion, explosive, flammable, oxidizer, compressed gas, and other, and the last one is column for SDS location. After install the software, log in to the system according to the role that has assigned by administrator. As mentioned before, there are four roles in the system. Administrator, Manager, Auditor and Viewer. After login, Administrator can either manually set up the inventory or import an existing master inventory from a previous Excel file. Only Administrator can do this part in CMIS system. After finish import the Excel file, click on the Inventory icon to review the imported data. Administrator will review and verify the information to make sure all the information is correct and complete. If there is any changes, we can still edit the information within this section. In Setting tab, Administrator need to properly set up the inventory with all the chemical storage locations, owners, chemical storage groups, and SDS location. As per mentioned before, only administrator can fully control the inventory in the CMIS system. Therefore, only administrator can access this section. The Search tab allows all users to find a specific information on a chemical, based on its barcode, chemical name, CAS number or location. This way of search is more effective and can save time. Inventory reporting and audits are common practices that are used to report chemical quantities. Reporting requirements will involve a search for specific chemicals and a report of total quantities. The CMIS software assists in reporting requirements by providing the option to produce simplified, exportable reports. There are five optional reports that can be generated. The Reports icon allows user to select from five options, such as Activity Log, Inventory by Chemical, Inventory by Location, Stock Check and User. Auditor. Auditor is designed to audit or check inventory. Auditor is responsible for laboratory inventory audits and checks printed inventory for accuracy. Auditor privileges include report inventory, audit inventory and print inventory list. However, Auditor is not capable of viewing all the information in its settings, which prevents the Auditor from adding SDS folder locations. Chem For conclusion, CMIS is a software that ease to trace and track chemical in institution. CMIS is a database that can help to organize chemical inventory in institution. We will try to use this in our lab soon. I will organize the software. And I will need information from students. Hope can get cooperation from all. That's all. Thank you.